guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the Medela Pump and Style with Max Flow. We're gonna be talking about some of the key features that this pump offers. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to assemble this entire pump. We're also gonna be going over some pros and cons. I'm gonna be sharing some of my tips and recommendations, and I'm also gonna be including the actual sound that this pump makes when you're in the middle of a pumping session. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Isabel, and if you're interested in more pumping videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. So with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. So the first thing that I wanna go over with you guys is pricing. Here in the United States, this pump does run for about $200. Now, I personally purchased my pump right in stores from Target, and I did see this pump on their website for $200. When I went to the store, I noticed that they had it for about $230. So I did ask them to price match me, and I was able to save money that way. So if you do find this pump for a little bit cheaper on their website, and you go into stores and it's a little bit pricier, you can always ask them to price match you and end up getting the better price. Now, when you receive your pump, it's gonna come in this box right here. I'm gonna show you everything that would come inside of your box and what's gonna be included with your price. So inside of your box, you're gonna find your motor, of course, and in a minute or so, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to use their motor. You're also gonna find the tubing that's gonna connect into your motor. Your pump is also gonna come with a wall plug-in and it's also gonna come with a battery pack plug-in, which is gonna be really nice for if you're maybe pumping in the car or pumping on the go and you don't have an outlet to plug into. Now, one thing that I wanna note about their battery pack plug-in is that you will have to put eight AA batteries. Now, these AA batteries aren't included, but you can always just buy a pack and leave it in your bag if you're gonna be using the battery pack. Your pump is also gonna come with four five ounce bottles. And what I really love about these bottles is that the five ounce sign is right here. So essentially you're able to fit a little bit more than five ounces into these bottles when you're pumping. You're also going to get four lids for your bottles, which are gonna be really nice for sealing off your milk when you're all done pumping. And I really love this feature because sometimes I'm pumping and I don't feel like getting up. And this is just really convenient that I'm able to just seal off my milk and leave it right where I am. Your pump is also gonna come with two bottle or pump stands. And these are gonna be really nice because these are gonna prevent your pump from falling over and spilling all of your breast milk. You're also going to get two of their breast shield connectors. And inside of their breast shield connector, you're going to find two membranes. Your pump is also gonna come with two sets of different phalanges. So you're gonna get four phalanges included. Two of them are gonna be a 21 millimeter phalange, and the other two are gonna be two 24 millimeter phalanges. Now very quickly, I do wanna add that the phalanges that come with this pump are called their personal fit flex phalanges. And one thing that I really love about these phalanges is that they have a soft rim around the edge and they're also oval shaped for more comfort. Now with these phalanges, you can wear them either horizontally or you can place them on the breast vertically. So it's really gonna depend on what's most comfortable for you. Now a quick side note that I would like to add in is even though your pump does come with four phalanges, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have four different phalanges to pump with. Every woman has different nipple sizes. And so really with phalanges, one size doesn't necessarily fit all. So I can tell you guys in my personal experience that their 21 millimeter phalanges didn't fit me and neither did their 24 millimeter phalanges. So what I had to do was I had to buy a two pack of their 27 millimeter phalanges. So this is the box that my two 27 millimeter phalanges came in. And here they are right here. Now what I can tell you about these phalanges is that they do come in a 21 millimeter, a 24 millimeter, a 27 millimeter, and a 30 millimeter. So if you do need a bigger size, they do give you the option to go up in size. Now a two pack of the 27 millimeter phalanges did cost me about $15. So that's just something to keep in mind when purchasing this pump. Now something that I really like that your pump comes with is a freezer pack and this little lunchbox that your freezer pack can go right inside of. So you could just place your freezer pack just like so, and if you're gonna be on the go or pumping away from home, you can just stick your bottles right on the sides, 
and your ice pack will help to keep your milk fresh and cool. And then you can just zipper it up and know that your milk is safe. And the very last thing included with your pump is gonna be your crossbody bag. So it comes with a strap that you can just adjust to your needs. Now this is what your bag looks like in the inside. Comes with a little spot that you can store things. Now on the front of your bag, it also comes with a zipper that you can store more things. And I just like to keep extra batteries in there for my battery pack. So now we're gonna be assembling the entire pump. So we're gonna start with our motor. So right on your motor, you're gonna notice this hole right here. You're gonna wanna take your tubing and stick the side with one piece right into your motor. Now also on your motor, you're going to notice this hole right here. You're going to wanna stick either your wall plug-in or your battery pack right into this hole. So for right now, I'm gonna be using my wall plug-in. Next, we're gonna be assembling our pumps. So you're going to need two bottles, two of your connector pieces, two membranes, and the two phalange sizes of your choice. So let's start with our connector pieces. So with our connector pieces, this actually can come apart into two pieces. Now you could just take your membrane and you would just place it right into your connector piece like so. Then you would close it. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing with our other connector piece. So you might notice that on your connector piece, it comes with these two little buttons. You're going to just push the both of these buttons in and it will open up like so. Then you can take your membrane, stick it right in the back of your connector piece, and close it. Now we're going to just screw our bottles right into the bottom of our connectors. You would place your phalanges right in there. And like I had mentioned to you guys, you can wear these horizontally or vertically, whatever's gonna be most comfortable for you when you're pumping. I personally pump with them vertically other one in and then I personally like to pump right with my stands on the bottom but you don't have to these are personally just nice for when you're all done pumping and you're gonna be storing your milk you won't have to worry about your pumps falling over now we'll just take our tubing piece that's connected into our motor and you'll place them right in the back of your connector pieces so that's one and that's two now if you take a look very closely at these connector pieces they don't go all the way inside. And I do wanna know that they're meant to be that way. So you don't have to try to force them in. They're not gonna go in any further. That's as far in as they're going to go. So that is our fully assembled pump. Now I wanna show you guys very quickly how to use their motor. So on their motor, there's going to be four different buttons. One, two, three, four. This button right here is the on and the off button. So this is on and this is off. This button right here is their two-phase expression technology button. So what that means is that this button is going to mimic your baby's natural sucking rhythm. So essentially it comes with a stimulation mode and a letdown mode. So when your pump turns on, it's going to start you in your stimulation mode. Your stimulation mode is what's going to stimulate your letdown to come out. Once your letdown has begun and your milk has started to flow, you can press this button right here and it'll have a slower suctioning rhythm and this is your expression mode. Now, on some other pumps that I use, when your pump turns on, it will just start you right in your stimulation mode, but it won't turn over to your expression mode. So this is something that I like with this pump because when I'm pumping, sometimes I do forget to switch my pump over to my expression mode. And after a few seconds with this pump, it will actually kick right over into your expression mode. So if you do forget, this pump is gonna do that for you all on its own, which is a feature of this pump that I really do like. So your pump will turn on, and this button right here is for your stimulation or your expression. So you can hear when I change it, it goes into a slower suctioning rhythm. And with these two buttons right here, you're just gonna wanna decrease or increase your suction to whatever feels most comfortable for you. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons to this pump. So between your bag, your cooler pack, your lunchbox, and your battery pack for wireless pumping, this pump is really gonna provide you with everything that you need for traveling and on-the-go portability, which is really nice. 
I also really love that this pump comes with four bottles and four ceiling caps and it gives you extra pieces included. This pump is also a really super simple and easy design, making it so easy to take apart and wash and put back together. And I personally love using this pump for when I'm in a rush and I really need to pump right away. This pump is so easy to assemble and disassemble and I don't have to worry about all the little valves and tiny pieces that a lot of other pumps come with. But this pump does come with two features that I really love and I wanna show you guys. So on their tubing systems that you would place right into the pumps, you may notice on this piece right here that there is a hole. Now what this hole allows you to do is use this pump as a single electric pump. So instead of plugging the both of these pieces into your pump, if you wanna use this pump as a single electric pump, you would take one of these pieces and plug it right into this circle. Now this is going to just seal off this tube and now you can just place your other piece right into the pump and you have a single electric pump. Now this is gonna be really nice for moms who want to use a single electric pump on one breast while you're breastfeeding on the other breast. And one of my most favorite things about this pump is that it comes with this little strap right here. And this strap has been so helpful to me because when I'm transitioning from one room to the other, this strap just allows for me to hold my pump and I won't have to worry about my motor accidentally falling. So this strap has been a feature that I really love with this pump. Now I do wanna share with you guys one con that I do have of this pump. So if you've watched any of my other Medela videos, you'll know that their bottle isn't a wide neck opening. So I do find it a little bit difficult to be able to clean inside of the bottle. And when you're cleaning this bottle with a brush, it can splash everywhere. So that's really the only con that I do have of this pump. But honestly, it's really not that big of an issue at all. Now, very quickly, I am gonna be inserting the actual sound that this pump makes when you're in the middle of a pumping session. So now I would like to share a few tips and recommendations that I have for you guys when using this pump. So when purchasing their electric pump, Medela does make a pumping bra. So this is the pumping bra that I have from Medela. I just got a nude color and I did purchase this bra for about $25 to $30. So you can either buy a Medela pumping bra or you can go ahead and buy a bra that's compatible with this pump for a cheaper price. So you don't necessarily have to go ahead and buy the Medela bra with this pump. There are a lot of other bras out there that are compatible. And also with this pump, their personal fit flanges will also fit right into their connector pieces. Now, if you do like pumping better with this style flange, you can purchase a two pack of these for about $15. And one other quick thing that I would like to add is that the Freestyle Flex connectors are actually compatible with the pumping style. So I purchased a two pack of these for about $30 and they just come with two connectors and two membranes. So if you guys do have the Freestyle Flex, these connector pieces are gonna be compatible for your pump and style. So all in all, the Medela pump and style is definitely a pump that I would recommend. I love how this pump sets you up with everything that you would need for either pumping at home, at work, or on the go. I really think that Medela was super creative in how they designed this pump, making it really fast and easy to clean and put back together and making it so convenient to accommodate your lifestyle of if you're gonna be pumping at work, on the go or at home. So that's all that I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. As always, I hope you all have a blessed day and a blessed week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.